Sadiq Khan, when he became mayor of London, sort of made this big pledge to clear up the air above London and sort of make it easier for Londoners to breathe. Um, and he said, in his view, the number one way to do that was to sort of get rid of old cars that sort of um, let out emissions that are quite dirty. Um, and that's the way that he's going to clean up London's airspace. But the way he's been doing it through ULES has been really controversial. So the ultra low emission zone started off by just covering the area of London where there is also a congestion charge. So just the sort of central areas. And as Sadiq's term went on, he's slowly been expanding more and more and from August 29th it's going to cover the entirety of Greater London. Now that area includes some outer boroughs where there really isn't the same level of public transport infrastructure as there is in say zones one, two and three. A lot of people in areas like Uxbridge and South Roislip, the constituency, do rely on a car and one in ten drivers in those areas have cars that do not comply with uh, ULES rules. So they'll need to spend thousands of pounds changing over their car or they'll face a £12.50 daily charge under this expansion. Now, five councils took Sadiq, Sadiq Khan's plan to expand the ULES to the High Court. They wanted to get a judgment that the expansion was unlawful. Unfortunately for, the, for them, and in a sort of big win for the mayor, um, the court ruled that the exp expansion can go ahead. So as things stand, it will on August 29th, but a lot of Tory MPs are very unhappy. They say they're going to do whatever they can to fight it. And the Tory candidate for London Mayor Susan Hall says that if she beats Sadiq Khan uh, to City Hall next year, the number one thing she will do is scrap the ULEs. So it's all getting very tense on London's roads. I've been listening for the last few months uh, since I announced the decision to expand the ULEs. I'll carry on listening, and as a consequence of me listening, next week we'll be massively expanding the support Londoners receive. Every family in London, that's almost a million families who receive child benefit, will be eligible for support from next week. Every small business in London will be eligible for support from uh, next week, and every charity in London will receive greater support from uh, uh, next week. The High Court confirmed today uh, that 9 out of 10 cars in outer London already are compliant so they won't pay a penny more from August 29th but we'll see the benefits of clean air but for those that may have a vehicle that's non-compliant I'll carry on listening and working with them to find new ways to support them. We have this really interesting dynamic happening where Sadiq Khan's view on ULEZ and his, the importance he places on it is a bit at odds with a lot of the top brass in the Labour Party. Now, this month we had a by-election in Uxbridge and South Roislip, the old seat of uh, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. And really that by-election was Labour's to lose. All the polling suggested that they could win that seat off the Tories, but they didn't. And what the party, both parties attributed that loss to, to, and the win for the Tories was real burning anger and outrage over ULES. So after that by-election, you had a lot of top Labour politicians such as Keir Starmer, Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves come out and urge Sadiq Khan to rethink the scheme, maybe pause it for a while so he can think of ways to make it easier uh, for people to make that transition to a greener car, especially during a cost of living crisis. But Sadiq Khan's been very defiant that he's going to go ahead with the scheme. And that's put him at odds with other Labour politicians.